everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Nissan of Quakertown in Quakertown, Pennsylvania in the snow to check out this 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X pickup truck in Baja Storm with a black cloth interior. We're going to go through this, see what the Frontier is bringing for the 2024 model year. So let's dig in. Front end of our Pro 4X looking good Nissan badge with the orange accents on the flat black grille. Functionality in the grill, top and bottom. As we move on in, we have LED lighting all the way around. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps. Down below here, we got the recovery hooks, front skid plates, underbody skid plates here on this Pro 4X. Now, we come around to the wheels, and what are we looking at? We are looking at a 17-inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, Nissan badge on the center cap. Standard brake and rotor package. Now we do have Bilstein shocks for off-road action on this Pro 4X. So these are wrapped in Hankook Dynapro all-terrain two tires, 265 on the width, a 70 series sidewall, 17s, all four corners, four-wheel drive. We move on down. We have the tube steps right here that say Frontier on them looking good. Up top, color matched on the side view mirrors. Color matched on the front and the rear door handle. Left side fuel, or cap, fuel filler cap Pro 4X call out on the rear quarter panel. Up top, color matched shark fin antenna, no sunroof. Rear of our Pro 4X Frontier, again, LED uh, lighting all the way around. Nissan badge in the middle. Frontier stamped in the detail gate with the Pro 4X in black. We got the trailer tow hiccup right here on the rear bumper, which is partially flat black and partially color matched. And then our exhaust is coming out over here underneath the right side of the vehicle. Looking good though here on this Pro 4X and I love this Baja Storm color. We're under the hood of this 24 Pro 4X Frontier. What do we have for power plant? We have Nissan's 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine mated to a nine speed automatic transmission, 310 horsepower, 281 pound feet of torque. This Frontier can tow up to 6,180 pounds. MPGs, 18 in the city, 22 on the highway, 19 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior of this Frontier Pro 4X, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much I'm going to have to pay for one of these. These off-road pickups are kind of expensive. Well, here we go. Base price for the 24 Frontier Pro 4X Crew Cab 4x4 with the automatic V6 is $39,300. Now, that's going to get you what I mentioned earlier, the V6 engine, the 9-speed auto, the shift on the fly four-wheel drive system, the two-speed transfer case, active uh, brake limited slip diff, Bilstein off-road shocks, electronic locking rear differential, rear suspension stabilizers with the tires, with the wheels. Now, we've got to add in some options here. So, an extra $255 for the mud flaps that say Pro 4X, an extra $395 for the premium paint, an extra $800 for the off-road style step rails. An extra $335 for the electronic tailgate lock. Now, we have to add in the Pro Convenience Package for an additional $2,190. Get you the spray-on bed liner, the uh, Utilitrack system with two adjustable tie-down cleats, 120-volt outlet in the, beer, in the bed and rear console, heated outside mirrors, heated steering wheel, heated front seats, LED under rail lighting, remote engine start, trailer hitch with wiring harness, intelligent around view monitor and moving object detection with off-road mode and wireless charging pad. Then an extra 525 for the off-road protection package gets you the Adventure Medic Kit, off-road adventure kit, all season uh, floor mats and door scuff protector. Then an extra 990 for the technology package. That's gonna get you the lane departure warning, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, rear sonar system, rear automatic braking, high beam assist, intelligent cruise control, traffic sign recognition. We then add in destination and delivery of $1,335 from Nissan's Canton, Mississippi assembly plant. We have a total MSRP from the factory for this vehicle of $46,125. We then add in the wheel locks that the dealer added for 90 bucks. And then you have a total vehicle asking price on the lot today of $46,215. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, we have a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator with a push-on, push-off emergency brake. The uh, all-season mats are in the bed of the truck at this time. Seating-wise, you have power seats 
for the driver without lumbar manual assist for the front passenger. Black cloth with the R in stitching, Pro 4X, embroidered into the seat. Headrests are pretty firm, bolstering is pretty firm, but it looks nice for a cloth interior in this Pro 4X. All right, we're finally out of the snow and inside the Pro 4X where we have hard plastic up top, which surprises me. And then we have soft touch in and around the chrome door handle. Nice soft armrest with the orange stitching, flat black on the switch gear. More orange right in here on the door panel looking good. Fairly skinny door pocket though for a midsize pickup. Then we have some plastic up here with some soft touch, with some stitching. And then down below, we have a nice large glove box. Infotainment system, we have Nissan's nine inch infotainment system, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Got some extra storage up top on the top of the dashboard, but once you wake it up, it has very nice pinch to zoom response. No problem there. We can go back to our home button. We can go ahead and go to our destinations, zoom in, zoom out. We can go to our settings where we can connect up to six devices right here. So they got you covered there. We can also go to our clock, customize our menu, go to our sound, customize that. It is a touch screen, no problem. We go to system updates as well. We can go to info. So we can get a whole lot of action going on here. Sirius XM as well in here. So they got you covered here in this infotainment system. It's nice and easy to use. We go to reverse and we have a 360 degree view camera. We have a backup camera with trajectory with the 360 degree view, but this camera is old and it's grainy. Nissan really needs to update that here in this Pro 4X, but otherwise the system operates pretty darn well, I would say. I got a volume and tuning knobs, or, uh, and then we have uh, manual controls for the infotainment system if you don't want to use that. We have engine auto stop start on off, our four-way hazards. Then down here we have dual climate control, which I like, and you can sync them together, which is nice. Here is the two-wheel drive, four high, four low right here, switch right over there, no problem. And then down below here, we got two stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger, a heated steering wheel, parking sensors on off, USB-C, USB-A, and down here is an area for storage, not the wireless charging pad, I'll show you where that is in a minute, but it's nice and rubberized so things won't slide around. Look at these grab handles with the orange accents. I like how they use these orange accents in this Pro 4X. Here's the shifter to go through this nine-speed automatic transmission with the leather gaiter, with the stitching. Looks good. Now, we have two cup holders. Our Nissan key fob is right here. And there you have it where we have remote start, lock, unlock, panic button. Nice and light. Here is the wireless charging pad right here. So they got you covered there. Then we have our semi-soft armrest with the stitching. We open it up and we have a couple of GoPros that I'm going to use later and a nice area for storage. Nissan steering wheel, nice leather wrapped steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, the orange stitching, the black and orange Nissan badge looks good. Round bottom wheel, but I have plenty of room to get in and out of this frontier. It's very spacious in the in the driver cockpit area. Now, on our uh, flat black switches, we got our telephone voice commands, volume, and then we have our source and we have the control for the digital portion of our dash. On the right side, you got your cruise control, safety suite controls, and all that jazz. Stocks right here, headlights, fog lamps, windshield wiper on the right side, down below. We got all, all sorts of stuff going here. We got tow mode. We got Brighton Dim the Dash trip reset. This is our safety suite here. This is where we turn on and off the uh, home power source in the back of the vehicle. Cargo lamp, hill descent control, traction control off, lock the diff. We go way down there. And then the steering wheel, we do have a We have a tilting and telescoping wheel, but believe it or not, it feels like it's a two-handed job to move the wheel up and down and in and out, but it does go there. Should be just pull, pull, pull the switch, to, uh, pull the lever down and move it with one hand, but it won't let me do that. It wants me to pull it out and hold it out with my hand down here and then move it around with my other hand. So I'm not a big fan of how that setup is, even though I like the fact that it has the feature. 
No, we go to our dashboard. There you go. You got your analog digital combo, analog gauges for your speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and coolant temperature. And then you can go through additional information that you may want to see. And they give you plenty of things. You got some off-road pages you can go through. You got some auxiliary gauges you can go through, more auxiliary gauges, your driving info. So they give you some nice information here in the center of this uh, Pro 4X uh, Nissan. And of course, you got some submenus underneath there as well. And then if you want to hit tow mode, you hit that tow mode button I showed you earlier. And then you got tow that comes up on the tachometer in green on the left. Overhead console, pretty plain Jane. You got your spot for your sunglasses. If you want the LED lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button remains in the center. When you open the door, lighting comes on. Close the door, lighting goes off. There's the SOS button in case there's an emergency out on the road. Auto dimming mirror. Now, here we go with our sun visor with vanity and a light. And does it slide? Yes, it does. Get in the back of the Pro 4X into the crew cab area. We'll step in. Got to lower your head a little bit to get in. But once you're in, it's not bad. It's a little snug, but I got enough room for my head and shoulders. But I feel like I'm quite upright here, and my knees are fairly close to the seat, and the seat is set for my driving position. So a little cramped, but better than a current Tacoma, I'll tell you that. Now we come down. We don't have a seat pocket behind the driver. We have one behind the front passenger. In the back here, we have a USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source. So they got you covered there. Back door panels, some of the same action, but it's missing some of these orange, I call them orange accents. Uh, Nissan calls them red. But if you look at it, the front door panel has the orange accents there right, right up front underneath the switch gear. Here in the back, that's missing. It still does have a fairly soft armrest with the stitching, though. The back seat's the same cloth with the orange accents all the way down. Looks good. Center armrest. Pull it down. Fairly soft. Two cup holders in the middle. I kind of like them up front, and I can put my elbow back here because I don't have a lot of space on either side. But let me know what you guys think, but at least they're there. But it's not bad for this midsize pickup truck here in the crew cab area. Not bad at all. And the back window, you have the manual, manual sliding window here in the back of this Pro 4X. Extra storage in the crew cab area. You can move this down. And there's where your jack and other things in the back are stored. And both of these back seats come down. And then you have some storage underneath this seat. And... You basically have to use a two-handed operation. You have to pull this up and hold it, and then you can pull up this seat. But as you can see underneath there, you have those storage bins underneath both rear seats here in the crew cab. Getting in the tailgate area of our Frontier, just come to the back, give it a tug, down it goes. Nice and easy. Spray in bed liner like we mentioned earlier. We do have the tie-downs right in there all the way around, LED bed lighting, and then right in here, there's where our home power source is that we turn on from the dash. Tie downs. Looks good. This is a 59-inch bed, and the max payload is 1,284 pounds. So that's a good amount of uh, room here in the back of this midsize pickup truck. Frontier window sticker. We'll see how we do. The window's really wet because of the snow, but here it is. So our options right here sitting on the right. Fuel economy. Safety ratings. Dealer added accessory, wheel locks. Total vehicle asking price. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're going down the road in this 24 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X Baja Storm Action. And the first thing I noticed as soon as I got in here, just moving around the parking lot, was how heavy the steering is. Now, it lightens up a little bit once you get the car going down the road or the pickup going down the road, but it is very heavy. 
compared to other vehicles I've driven. And for an off-road pickup, I like that personally because this wheel is telling me what my front wheels are doing all the time. I get great feedback through this wheel because of that type of steering. I wouldn't want a light and numb steering feel on an off-road pickup, and I think Nissan has got this pitch perfect as far as that goes. It handles really well. It rides very firm because we are, you know, on an off-road type setup, and so it feels firm. You can feel what the car is doing as far as the chassis is underneath you, which I think is important when you're doing off-road action. When you're doing off-road action, and this V6 is fantastic. Emergency stop in three, two, one, in the wet. Oh yeah, no problem. That was our all season mats that were on the back seat that fell. And then we go down the road. Now it's wet and it's cold, so we gotta take it easy. You don't wanna slide over in the wrong lane, but it just handles really well. It's a really well put together mid-size pickup truck and you don't have to get the Pro 4X off-road trim. You can get other on-road trims if you just want a pickup truck that's going to take care of stuff on the road. Or if you want a really plain Jane one, you can get, I guess it's an SV and you know, you can put it to work for you and the price isn't bad at all. But it just is a really well put together truck. The V6 with the 9-speed auto, great drive line it's going to give you hundreds of thousands of miles of faithful service i believe uh it's just really really good and even when you look at what toyota is doing with the tacoma redesign you're not going to be able to get the v6 in the 2024 tacoma you're just going to be able to get a turbo four and i assume probably in the top trim tacoma they'll do something like they did with the with the tundra with the iForce Max and the Tundra, probably the Hybrid Max or something like that in the Tacoma, but you're not gonna see a V6 anymore in the Tacoma where they still have the V6 standard engine here in the Frontier in 2024. And this vehicle already has already had a redesign and it looks real good. The only thing I really would have liked them to do better on is the quality of the cameras in this vehicle because they are grainy and they're not the greatest and I would have liked to have seen them have better cameras. But other than that, it's got about everything you need. You got a 9.4 inch ground clearance, which is a pretty good number. You got skid plates underneath the front and the underside of the vehicle, the Bilstein shocks, two-speed transfer case. I mean, they really have given you some nice, quality materials in this Frontier Pro 4X. So I can't complain at all about this. Now the turning radius is wide. So you're gonna need to be careful about that. This thing isn't gonna whip around like it's on a dime. But it just goes down the road really, really well. And you got wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, you got heated seats, heated steering wheel, dual climate, wireless charging pad, you got USB connectivity in the back for the back seat passengers. So they really have given you some good stuff in this. And the cloth seats, easy to keep clean, right? And this naturally aspirated V6, such a nice linear torque delivery, gets you up to speed so easily, and the nine-speed automatic shifts very, very well. It's just a really good, well put together uh, pickup truck. So let me know uh, if you're in the market for this mid-size pickup. Does this Nissan Frontier fit the bill as far as an off-road trim, the Pro 4X? Would you go with another Frontier trim? Or are you still looking at the competition? And there's a lot of it 
and I'm just going to name a few. You got Toyota Tacoma, Ford Ranger, Chevy Colorado are the ones that come to mind right away. And let me know what you think. But if you're in the market for the midsize pickup, I would say put the Nissan Frontier on your list to check out and drive before you make a decision because I think you'd be impressed with it just like I've been impressed with this Pro 4X today. But I do want to thank Sioka Nissan of Quakertown here in Quakertown, Pennsylvania for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X in Baja Storm for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides review. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.